revolution will be live. 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 So let me get this straight. Netflix is producing two He-Man series. Count them two marshmallows. Which might just which just show look like a freaking marshmallow. So we have a anime style series, which I didn't watch yet, but probably just just, just not really He-Man's massive universe. I'm not really I'm with for part two to decide to watch the show. But on the side, while you wait for part two, they're giving you He-Man and, which this show should have been, the other show should have been, and the Master of the Universe. Said so became the other show was Tila series, and He-Man snippets. So that being said, we have another one, which is clearly this one's definitely to sell toys, definitely. We're going to check this one out. It's a full CG series, which, you know, I like CGI cartoons. That's fine. But this is more aimed for kids. The other he man are more aimed for more mature audience, which, you know, where you like, whether you like it or not, I'm sorry, not He-Man, Master of the Universe. Whether you like it or not, it's, it's, it's more for, like, us, our age. This was aimed for, like, probably, like, people under, between the ages of 5 and 12. But, you know, but then you know, you know what I mean. K through twelve. I, I have been known I have a known have a childlike mind, so I might why well, I'm liking this. But are you telling me you're gonna get a heat? That, no, we're not, I'm not gonna talk about it. Let's just, let's just let's just watch. Let's just watch. Let's just watch. No more talking. You gotta watch. And he man. With that sword, Grayskull will soon be ours. Who the frick is that? New character. Of course. Bring the sword to the champion. What champion? By the power of Grayskull, I have the power? The animation is cool. I have the power! Is that Yuri? It's what here. did it feel like? You turned into a big ol' He-Man! Were you still you on the inside, but you look like him on the outside? Or was he the same on the outside as he was on the inside, and you were somewhere else entirely? Ow! Man, that broke a lot of questions. <laughs> big massive monster! Little way! The power of Grayskull is a lie. Oh, scary. Who's there? Oh, scary. Oh, scary. Oh, Why, Adam? Don't you recognize your Uncle Keldor? What? This is like our Harry fight, too. So, uh, at least the master of technology? Master of magic. What? Master of the wild. Master of demolition. Yeah. Demolition. Apologies, this is all just very exciting. Like a so, story of old. By the power of Grayskull! Saving Eternia is up to us. Rise, my dark masters, and wreak havoc! Yeah, that's a little cool. To no one's self is to truly become. Universe. A master of the what now? Behind this gate lies great power. We must approach with caution. Nope. Oh. Adam! Mm. Wait up! Wait up! Mm. <sighs> Bro, the caution talking about. September 6th, the 16th. Okay, one. Clearly, this show's made them sell toys. Also, there's no original, none of the other characters in this show. There's no Tila. On the hero side. On the hero, some of the hero side. There's no Tila. There's no man in arms. They got, on the bad guy side, they pretty much got all the characters. Skeletor, Evil Lynn, I'm assuming that's Evil Lynn. And Beast Man, Beast Man? Beast Man? Beast, uh, Beast Man, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm 
sorry. What's his name again? I'm sorry. I said his name last time I forgot this, but they made my boy a robot. Oh, Mark Orko. Orko. They made Orko a robot in this? He's a robot? Oh, so we're going to do, we're going to tackle He-Man and put a little bit of Star Wars, little little bit of Power Rangers in there too. Just a little bit of sprinkle in there. Also, why they got this is animation where you got that strong dude got to have big muscle arms and little bitty legs. Like, how are you carrying yourself? You look like the strong crackhead. Hey, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I mean, with that power, I have the power. I'm high with this stuff, man. This is a good power right here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would say this. To me, it looks cool. It, Like I said, it's it definitely lo- catches the eyes. It's definitely for kids. But it somehow, also, it could be cool. Somehow, definitely watch like on Disney XD. It looks like yeah. a Disney XD show. Does Disney still exist? I would watch. No idea. That thing got Disney Plus, Plus probably now. Yeah. What about Disney Plus? You know, like, but or uh, yeah, yeah. You could definitely expect to see stuff on the shelves. Mm. <laughs> this stuff. Oh, for which, sure. You know that should happen anyway. That's yeah. what it's always been about. So that's why we. That's why we lost the 2002 series because they won't buy the toys. So we lost a good show because they don't buy buying toys. When you depend on toy sales, yeah, you pretty much screwed the show. If in the show could be good, yeah, it's you very, on toy sales, you screwed. That Thundercats uh, reboot, mm-hmm. the Green Lantern animated series, mm-hmm. toys, toys, oh, even Young, Young Justice, Justice at first. It's back now. Oh, uh, well, the thing about we're still waiting on season four. I thought it was going to be, be out by now. What the fuck? I know 2020 happened, but damn, I thought it would be out by now at least. Frick. <laughs> Still waiting on that. Hmm, oh yeah. But, uh... I ain't going to say it looked terrible. I'm not going to say that's definitely some possible terrible in the show for sure. I'm not going to deny that. It's, it's definitely something that still could be good. It's going to be good. Hope- be, I mean, I was like, hey, at least this show gives you He-Man. Yeah, He-Man, <laughs> He-Man, He-Man, He-Man. He-Man. Yeah, I mean... Overly muscular, he man. God, once again, why do y'all do that? Big arms, little legs. Why do y'all do that? <laughs> I get it. Is it? Is I'm not gonna lie. He was a little off to me. He yeah, was, yeah. That's him and Skeletor. Like, like, come on, big ass arms and little legs. Come on, now. that's a little off looking to me. Yeah, I, well, I mean, feel like he gonna tip over sometimes. We can we can retire that artwork. We we don't need it. Anymore. Yeah, but shout out to your long thaw who was playing he man slash Adam. That is cool. I love Yuri Lowenthal. He's my favorite voice actor, so shout out to him. Whoever's playing that other guy with the black hair, his his voice makes my throat feel weird. <laughs> I don't get it. It's like, oh, yeah. All in all, like I said, we're not trashing on this. I mean, we got some jokes here. But uh, it could be good. It could be good. It could be fun. Heck, don't be surprised. You have He Man fans come out saying, hey, this is more fun than the, than the actual He Man series. Um, he's going to deal with a character that got, a kid that's always got that's home grudge. Um, but I ain't watched the He-Man series yet. I'm waiting for part two to come out. Then I'll watch it. But I might check. But this one, this looks more on the fun side and actually has He-Man. I'll check this one out. I'll, I'll actually give it a look. I'll give it a look-see. I'll give it a look-see. Um, let's see how it goes. Um, yeah. So, yeah. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Looks cool. Looks like good. I'm expecting cringe. Definitely going to be showing him cringe in it for sure. But we'll see. Other than that, also, they made new characters. True. So, no, so nothing could be like, hey, that's not how this character works. We don't have to worry about that, but they show because you actually made new characters. Other than He-Man. We're always ready for new characters. We're always ready for new characters. Why you guys? I remember what the showrunner, the He-Man revelation said. I'm not going to say it is. That dude. Oh. Uh. That dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, y'all see, y'all heard it here, folks. We out this thing. We'll see you guys in the next uh, reaction. Peace. He-Man.